Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in March, I posted that Microsoft Office 2024 will be released later this year with a standalone version. And as mentioned in that video, which will be in the end screen with another video regarding Office 2024, if you want more info, um, it is coming later this year as a subscription-based version and also a new one-time purchase version that doesn't require a subscription. Now, although we don't know exactly when later this year um, Office 2024 will roll out and exactly what's going to roll out with and in Office 2024, in regards to this, um, Microsoft has recently released a preview of Microsoft Office LTSC, which is the long-term servicing channel um, for 2024, which currently is only available to corporations and enterprises. But um, obviously it goes without saying that Office LTSC isn't exactly the same as Office for your home user. There are a couple of differences, but this announcement, which by the way, I'll leave in the description if you want more info, does give us a couple of clues and hints about Office, the Office 2024 that's going to be available for your home user later this year, as mentioned. And that's going to replace Office 2021. And that's as the one-time purchase version of Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Now, Microsoft previously did announce that Office 2024 would be uh, supported for five years. And there most probably won't be a price change. Too early to say, though, but um, it is kind of pointing in that direction. So it should cost $150 for a license on one computer. So just take note of that. That's per computer for Office 2024. Now, if we head to this announcement and we scroll down, as mentioned, this will be in the uh, description. If we click on that link, it gives us a little bit more info regarding some requirements for Office 2024. So here we can see memory and disk space. Um, the system requirements for Office LTSC 2024 include four gigabytes of RAM and at least four gigabytes of available disk space, which Microsoft says for each product that you're installing. So just take note of that. So that's for Word, you need four gigabytes. Excel, you need four gigabytes. And PowerPoint, you need four gigabytes. So that's for each product you're installing regarding Office 2024. And if we look at this section, um, the, it's available for Windows 10 and 11, both on 32-bit and 64-bit versions. So it will be available for both 32- um, and 64-bit um, OSs. And um, just something to take note of, though, that ARM-based PCs need Windows 11 at a minimum. So obviously that's not available for Windows 10 users. If you run in ARM, obviously that only applies to Windows 11. And the Mac version requires four gigabytes of RAM, at least 10 gigabytes of disk space, and either an Intel or Apple Silicon, that's M1, M2, etc. chipset. So a bit of information as more or less some of these requirements we can expect uh, to be available and what the home user version will require when it rolls out later this year. Now, the documentation doesn't give us um, any idea at this stage um, of which versions of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and what other apps are included. But um, apparently, it's according to reports, it should be quite um, similar to the versions available right now through Microsoft 365. And something else just to take note of, though, is that um, all AR and cloud-based features are unavailable. So just take note of that for the home version, which means you won't be able to edit, as an example, a Word document at the same time as another person. And Copilot features are unavailable, which I think for a lot of home users wouldn't be a bad thing because um, there's been a lot of debate about Copilot and AR being pushed into a lot of the different uh, Microsoft products and services. Now, if we head back to that announcement, um, talking about LTSC once again, it says the following products are available as part of this preview program. Now, we're talking about Office 2024 LTSC. So, um, Professional Plus 2024 includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneNote, and Access. And for LTSC standard for Mac 2024, it includes Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. It doesn't include Access. So, there we go. So, this is just giving us a couple of hints and clues 
as more or less what we can expect to see roll out with Office uh, 2024 later this year. And still at the time of um, posting this video, um, Microsoft hasn't given us um, any exact date and time for the official release of Office 2024 for home users later this year. But we do know, according to what I've posted previously, that it is happening sometime in the latter half of 2024. And obviously, if I get any more info, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.